Okay. So, I'm reading this now. So, Jake is angsting because his brother, Tom, is a controller. He angst for about four chapters. Tom tries to convince him to join the sharing. However, the, his methods for doing so completely confuses me. Because even if the sharing wasn't front for an evil alien invasion, that doesn't not stop the fact that Tom completely makes it sound like a cult. Yeah, even if I wanted to join, I'd change my mind after talking to Tom. Stop laughing or I'll punch you. I'm serious. Your loss, he says. Oh wait, there's a there's a there's like a quote thingy. Your loss, he says. There are things that are cooler than hanging out with Marco. Cooler than being on some bogus team. Important things. We could be a part of something bigger. You could be a part of something great, not just another normal kid. Nothing, Nothing kids. Whatever the hell. Stop reading over me. End of quote. Book six, the capture. Well, Tom, you're not creepy at all. That's certainly not disturbing at all. Thank you, Adam. Alien mind hey, controlling. Don't Adam. I said thank you. Thank you. Stupid poo poo. That's certainly not disturbing at all. Alien mind control slugs or not. You'd think that Jake would try to convince his parents to hire a deprogrammer or something? That would be hilarious! How do you think that would go? Quotations. Sweetie, we want you to go to talk to this nice man about the shedding. We're a little concerned. End of quote. New quote. Are you serious? End of quote. New quote. We're all here for you. End of quote. New quote. Fuck this. End of quote. York slides out Tom's ear and goes home. Uh, and thus the earth is slayed. Slayed thanks to common sense. Saved. I thought that said slaved. <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> Hooray. But that could never happen. I mean, who do you know that has common sense? Let's be realistic here. Do I keep on reading? Yes. Okay, I go down. Give me a minute. Where'd I go? There I am. Okay. I see it. Speaking of common sense, Jake decides to test out his cockroach morph in a room that has cockroach traps. <laughs> Smart ass. Hey, I, I'm giving him credit here. This is the first book that doesn't begin with stupid, cover-blowing antics and has uh, him actually practicing the morph before crunch time. In the kitchen! So am I waiting to let the practical Blapo Baba and logic slide? He's practicing a bar for the kitchen of his house! Slow clap. Well, yes, he decides to morph in a house that contains not only roach motels, but a known controller as well. Be honest, smart. Shut up! Stop telling Adam to shut up! Adam can go eat a chicken for all I can. You eat a chicken! I'd you love to eat a chicken! Can you get me a chicken? <laughs> If you get me a chicken, I'll not be me dad up. Go get me a chicken. Oh, now I finished see. reading. The real trouble starts when Jake realizes the eggs have taken over an entire hospital and will begin using it to infect people. Luckily, like everything else, the eggs infiltrate it in the area. Hospital? I told the hospital. Is this yeah. after book 10? No, this is book 6. This is book 6. Oops. I read this book to you. Oops. <laughs> okay. Really? Yeah, I read to you. I, I, I don't remember this. You're lying. <laughs> I find it very bizarre that the Yorks apparently don't have it. It's international headquarters. Huh, it is weird. Nope! They have never left the particular area of California where the goddess how many times? And the light bandit attack. What's an ad light bandit? What's an ad light if it's being said? What? <laughs> You're lying! And like, it's the blue alien with the scorpion tail. Me and Yerk? Okay. Sure. <laughs> they go at that to go once, and when the plan fails a single time, they give up on it. Oh. So they have like 54 times <laughs> in California, but once in Antarctica, it's like, no, no, we can't do Antarctica. Antarctica is too cool for us.
Is that the truth? I don't really remember the entire book. Go get out of this room! Hey! I don't wanna see you! Hey, at least I remember this book the Antarctica book of book exists! You don't know what an Andalite is! An Andalite is the weird slug that gets to set your ear like a the brain. Even. What do you even get to? Uh, yeah, I don't blame them. them, Antarctica blows. They should try like Boston or something. Florida even, Canada, Egypt, Latita, anywhere. Heck, I'd go and put a base in every major city on earth. i just take China and India and be set for life. There you go. I go down now. What? What'd I do? Use these buttons. I don't like those buttons. Am I gonna read all of this? There, Jake is having this really odd dream. I hate you. <laughs> Jake is having a really odd dream about a tiger and wanting to kill Tom. It is creepy. Quotes. Okay, but don't laugh. I'm in a dream of a tiger morph and I'm stalking Tom, following him on his trail. I'm feeling the tiger's eagerness. You know, the predator feeling, the hunger, that this will kill. Anyway, the dream I'm hunting my own brother. Only when I get close, he turns around. And it isn't Tom anymore. It's a... End of quote. Stop myself before I finish the sentence. Book 6, The Capture. What the fuck? <laughs> Do I have to read all of this shit? Hey! This is the best review in the world. It's like so tiny, you wouldn't even believe it. That's tiny. What? I don't know what that means. Keep reading. Your face is tiny! Alright, back to the actual reading. It is! And yet I can't bet that you're a shepherd are reading that bunch and giggling with Glee. Why are they talking about Glee now? That's MY SHOW! Weird little <gasps> face. I don't know how to talk about it. It's like, with your mouth all open, or with the, the eyes. I don't know what the hell that is. These are two testicles. <laughs> no penis. Ew. Ew. You were only acquaintances? Shut, shut up. Just sh shut up. Keep reading. Don't talk to your acquaintances like that, you poo poo. You mean, question mark? Afraid so? Ah! Oh dear, it seems that I've broken her. Let the ex have her. All in caps, by the way. Marco gets a new house. I get that's a nice. Actually, good news in these books can be rather rare. Okay, I'm just gonna skip down because this is all so boring. It's not. Or if you'd prefer, nope, not clicking that either. <gasps> Happy face! Ah, uh, I don't want to read all this. It's boring. I'm sure you're all bored by now, but my piggy is awesome. Let's read the last, the last. Here we go. All right. Jake is free. The Yerkes device, the whole hospital thing, was a stupid idea anyway. What? And all the... Well, well, well. Did they actually get to the hospital? I don't get it. You skipped the part where they go to the hospital. I did? Yes. You skipped half the book. The book's stupid. Whatever. It's not a stupid book. Oh, I like something and it's all about... Boom. <laughs> okay. Yours is fixed. <laughs> okay. We have not risk blowing our cover for a stupid and pointless reason. See, you all knew everything went boom already, so that's why you wrote that. Thank you. Liffy. 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 Uh -huh. Liffy. Gasp. However, could you think of the ending of the book without that? Sorry, they bought Ogazi's that cell phone because everybody knows that would be literally impossible to trace. Ooh, my brain. And she looks more fat to wolf. Enough to. Change his voice and tell Marco to never give up. Tom. T Tarko to never give up. <laughs> to which Tom, bro, promptly responds, Jake, why are you making such a goofy voice? I'm sure Tom appreciates the fact they didn't waste three days try tying him up in the woods to starve out his yerk. Instead, just made a Vague phone call. Seriously, they could have saved Tom at any point. Bastards! That would give you actually a run of the ear of asses! Aha! The ex host could have returned to the route and run the Shh! Never mind, this is a stupid idea! What is the thinking? Let's just blow stuff up. I like this idea. But overall, I think this was a bad, rather excellent book. It starts to give a